uh, is my screen is uh, shared? Oh yes. Okay. Please make it full screen. So yes. Yeah. I am myself, uh, Dr. Krishnagirish from uh, India. Uh, I'm pursuing uh, my post graduation in uh, MS General Surgery. Today, my research topic is on uh, a role of negative pressure wound therapy in the management of diabetic ulcers. Coming to the abstract, the foot wound the people with diabetes is common and it is a very serious health issue. The, uh, the aim of the present study was to assess the efficacy of the uh, negative pressure wound therapy as compared to the uh, conventional wound dressing. And through that, uh, the negative pressure uh, therapy uh, used, used to be a much better option in the management of the diabetic foot ulcers. And uh, on this present uh, study, we are assessing about the uh, duration of the uh, duration of the, uh, of the hospital stay and the better the graft update. Introduction: Diabetic foot ulcers are the most uh, most common cause of hospitalization in diabetic patients. And they are the considered as a wild, uh, worldwide health problem. With the improvement in diabetic therapy and the reinforcement in the guidelines, have reduced the amputation rates in the diabetic uh, foot patients. It furthermore, in increase in knowledge in diabetic uh, foot ulcers, has al uh, allowed uh, availability of uh, several uh, medical options to ensure the best uh, conditions for the wound healing. Actually, what is uh, negative pressure wound therapy? Uh, it is a specially designed uh, foam dressing applied to the wound and it is sealed with um, a, a polyurethane sponge and which is connected to the uh, draining, the draining tube is connected to the uh, negative uh, the pressure wound therapy device. Here the picture is showing uh, uh, the, the pink area is containing the wound. Over that we have a, uh, we placed the sponge. Upon that uh, we connected a uh, suction tube or rice tube which is finally connected to the negative pressure uh, device. The, generally, the negative pressure is created by either uh, by uh, suction machine or by uh, uh, central suction machine in the hospital. And what are the principles uh, behind the negative pressure wound therapy? It will maintain the sterile environmental because it is closed system and, uh, and it is reduce the edema in the wound and uh, increase the tissue perfusion and uh, increase the rate of uh, granulation tissue formation in diabetic uh, wounds and decrease the bacterial load and anaerobic activity. Uh, what is the biomechanism? As, uh, as I said earlier, uh, it is uh, reduced the edema and bacterial load. Subsequently, it stimulates the cell proliferation. Because of st the cell proliferation, it is mainly dependent upon the dermal perfusion. Uh, the blood supply to the wound is Building enhances by the uh, negative pressure wound therapy. Subsequently, it promotes uh, microangiogenesis. And also, it protects the wound from reinfection and cross infection and uh, spreading infection. And finally, after uh, getting a uh, good granulation tissue, uh, the, the wound is uh, available for uh, skin graft or uh, uh, flap uptake. Uh, what are the factors uh, behind the wound healing in negative pressure wound therapy? The main factor, uh, it means it is a closed sterile system and uh, it will maintain the moist wound healing environment. The recent studies suggest that there will be, it will create the mechanical stretching may result in increased mitosis and cell proliferation. The negative pressure wound therapy decreases the wound volume by approximating the wound edges and, uh, and help in wound closure. The main, it promotes the continuous debridement because of continuous uh, negative pressure, it will remove the wound debris and bacterial colonies. And also, uh, it will remove the wound, uh, wound interstitial fluid, allowing a tissue decom uh, decompression. What are the main benefits behind the, uh, this therapy? It, uh, the wounds will heal by 61% uh, with the negative pressure uh, wound therapy. And the infection rate is dropped down to 38 percent as compared with the uh, conventional uh, 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 therapy in the hospital. And the financial uh, burden, which is the most important, uh, which is uh, done uh, paid by the patients, it is it is reduced by 30 83 percent. Present uh, at present, the aim of the my aim of the study is to compare the efficacy between the uh, negative pressure wound therapy with conventional dressing in the treatment of diabetic people. Objectives. The main parameters includes 
uh, rate of granulation uh, tissue formation between the uh, uh, between the uh, two groups and the percent percentage of uh, 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 skin graft uh, uptake between the two groups and number of days in the hospital stay between the two groups and the material uh, materials and methods includes uh that's my sample size is about uh, 48 cases in each group contain 24 uh, patients in each uh, group inclusion criteria the inclusion criteria includes uh, according to the measured diagnostic clinical classification of diabetic foot ulcer uh, the grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3 the grade 1 it is a superficial and grade 2 and grade 3 are deep ulcers uh, they are uh, uh, these patients are with uh, controlled diabetes mellitus the exclusion criteria includes uh, uh, malignancy, actually bleeding, and necrotic tissue in ashes and ischemic ulcers. What is the method of application? Here, the picture is showing the uh, wound surface. Upon that, uh, 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 we are uh, placing a, a paraffin gauze. Uh, upon that, uh, above that, we are connecting a sponge. And the, the in, in between the sponge, we are inserting a tube called Riles tube or uh, suction tube, which is finally connected to the um, su suction machine. The suction machine, either uh, it is a central suction in the hospital, uh, present in the hospital, or uh, uh, with the um, uh, suction machine. Here is a picture uh, uh, showing the, uh, the machine, uh, not suction machine. It is. It is, it, the wound is covered with uh, a sterile glove. These are the pictures. Uh, and the main uh, uh, thing uh, we have to maintain the negative pressure, uh, which is uh, about uh, 80 to 125 mm of HG per, per 30 minutes is applied to each and every two, uh, two hours in the ward for three days. In uh, 12 to 24 hours gap, uh, there we should uh, change the dressing uh, so that uh, uh, we will decrease the uh, maceration uh, surrounding the uh, wound. The negative pressure wound therapy application was continued till a desired level of granulation tissue was formed. After, for, after getting the desired level of uh, granulation tissue, the patient is uh, planned for uh, subsequent uh, split skin grafting for final operation. At the each time, uh, we had to take the pictures the, uh, and also we had to measure the uh, measure the size of the wound so that uh, uh, we had to uh, in, or the graph or the graph report, we have to success, uh, successfully measurements will be recorded and uh, the improvement in the wound is assessed by uh, revised photographic uh, wound assessment. Here is the picture showing uh, the control group uh, the the picture uh, on the left side. It is not uh, that much red uh, compared with the study group. In study group, the wound is very red. In study group, we used uh, the negative pressure wound therapy. Uh, and because of that, uh, uh, the granulation rate of uh, rate of uh, formation of granulation tissue formation uh, is more, and also the quality of the granulation tissue is more in these patients. Uh, coming to the results, uh, age distribution. More number of age uh, uh, patients belongs to the 46 to 65 uh, years. Here the bar, uh, bar, uh, or bar diagram is showing the more number, of, uh, more number of patients belongs to the 46 to 65 years. And sex distribution and uh, the type of dressing between the conventional and uh, negative pressure wound therapy. More number belongs to the male members. These are the sex distribution bar uh, chart showing. And according to the Wagner's classification, these are the diagnosis, how I diagnosed the patients. More number of uh, patients belong to the uh, grade 2 and uh, grade 3. 16 members in grade, uh, uh, grade 16 members in grade 2 and uh, 15 members in grade 3. Uh, coming to the graft update. Uh, is, this is one of the, my parameters in, uh, in objectives. Uh, there is a 90 to 100 percentage of uh, graft uptake is more. It is seen in uh, negative pressure wound therapy. It is about 15, uh, 15 patients, whereas in conventional group it is only four patients. So the, my p value is less than uh, uh, 0 0.005, which is uh, 0 0.001.
this is the bar chart uh, showing the graph update and also my uh, second objective is the duration of hospital stay the duration of hospital stay uh, in conventional dressing is this more it is about uh, 40 days whereas in uh, negative pressure wound therapy it is about 15, 18 days so by comparing that the, my p value is again uh, is uh, very significant is less than 0.001 Uh, so showing that the negative pressure wound therapy has a very good uh, uh, efficacious uh, efficacious than uh, conventional see the uh, the mean gra graph uptake it is uh, 84% in conventional dressing and uh, 95% in uh, uh, negative pressure wound therapy so also the the bar chart uh, showing that the duration of the hospital stay uh, which is uh, Uh, very uh, more days are uh, in the conventional dressing whereas uh, in negative pressure wound therapy which is very uh, less and it is very significant it is 18 days uh, coming to the discussion uh, as my study is a prospective study and uh, we are comparing the negative pressure wound therapy with conventional uh, wound dressing uh, wound dressing for the treatment of diabetic foot ulcers the study was done on uh, 48 patients for a period of 2 years uh, according to the milling et al the mechanism of action of negative pressure wound therapy is it will cause the uh, strain and stimulate the uh, cell proliferation and uh, and uh, it also causes the mechanical evacuation of the uh, interstitial fluid so that uh, um, uh, they, they, there 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 subsequently there will be a decrease the bacterial lo uh, uh, load over the wound in my study the standard pressure is about uh, 72 to 125 mm of hg of suction pressure was applied for all patient uh, nikunji vaidya at all st uh, study showed that uh, they are applying on uh, uh, 72 to 125 mm of hg pressure uh, to a wound bed had the greatest effect uh, on uh, tissue regrowth and granulation uh, so that uh, my study is correlating with the other uh, uh, groups as the concept of outcome based uh, uh, medicine evolved the need for uh, better wound dressing modality become more acute uh, now wound dressing systems are uh, compared uh, on the basis of uh, rate of granulation tissue form and rate of wound healing and uh, the cost and uh, duration of hospital stay of the patient which was uh, considered as a uh, measure of uh, morbidity of the patient uh, the study conducted by local uh, vision uh, siddha et al Uh, on uh, 100 patients, um, the mean uh, they showed that the mean age is between uh, 60 years, uh, uh, 56 years, and 58 years in a uh, control group. Uh, in my study, the same is almost uh, uh, reflecting that their uh, the mean age in study group is about uh, 54 years and uh, 53 years in control group. According to the uh, local vision, Siddha et al. the graph that take. Uh, in uh, was uh, in their study is about 8 uh, 82% is in study uh, study group whereas uh, 78% uh, is in control group in my 